Disney Princess Palace Pets Adventure Tales Hidden Stories and Surprises Teacup and Petite, a happy duo. Teacup and Petite loved spending time with Belle. Petite jumped high and galloped with joy. Teacup played a song she had created just for Princess. Teacup was always happiest when she was performing. One day, her four friends were enjoying her latest moves. Suddenly, Teacup realized she was late for her show in the village square. She hurried off. Teacup found herself lost in the woods. Russell, Russell, who's in the leaves? Teacup tried to hide, but then she saw Petite. Shouldn't you be in the village square, asked Petite? Yes, but I'm lost, said Teacup. Don't worry, said Petite. I can get you there. In fact, said Petite, I was on my way there with your sunglasses. Oh, thank you so much, said Teacup. You must perform with me. The crowd was delighted to see the happy duo. Bravo, they heard. It was Belle, their biggest fan. Wow. Teacup and Petite enjoyed their applause. They took a bow. Thank you so much. Treasure set sail. Ariel's kitten treasure loved sailing aboard Prince Eric's ship. She was always ready for an adventure. Treasure also loved building sand castles on the shore and taking long walks to look for seashells and other things. One day, she, Sebastian, and Max discovered a boat. Treasure hurried on board the boat. Max and Sebastian followed. She pretended she was the ship's captain and that her friends were her crew. Treasure peered through her spyglass. A good captain was always on the lookout for danger. Suddenly, a big wave arose and the boat was pushed out into the open water. Treasure was so excited, but Max and Sebastian were worried about where they were headed. Oh no, they worried about the storm clouds too. Raindrops began to sprinkle down from the sky. Let's take cover, said Treasure, being a good captain. But there was nowhere on the boat to hide, and now it was pouring. Then just as suddenly it had started, the rain stopped. Treasure and her friends gazed up at a beautiful rainbow in the sky. A gentle wave pushed their boat back to shore. Max and Sebastian scrambled off the boat in a hurry. Come on, come on. Ariel and Prince Eric were there waiting to welcome their friends back home. As Treasure and Sebastian walked to the palace for a snack, Treasure told him she couldn't wait to get back out on the sea. <laughs> and that's the end. I hope you enjoy, little ones. I hope you come back to let me read more stories to you, your fairy godmother kitty. Ciao for now.